Now, it's so, so common to hear the phrase, I'd love to start making my own music, but I just have no idea where to start. Now, it can be intimidating. It can seem like you need to invest loads of time, money, and energy into learning this new skill, but it's just not the case. Now, I've broken it down for you into three steps that you can start taking today to start making your own music, so stay tuned. How's it going guys? It's John Holt here with The Audio Journey, helping make music production accessible to all. And here on this channel, what I do is a variety of music production tutorials focused towards beginners and beyond. So if that's something that you might be interested in, then definitely consider subscribing. Now, I promised a lot with that video intro, so um, we better get stuck in. Now, so many people tell me that they'd love to start making their own music, but they just don't have the time, the energy, the space, the creativity, or some other reason like that that seems like a real barrier to them. Now I'm gonna give you some steps that you can start following that are actually achievable um, in real life situations. So it can help you overcome things like not having much money to put towards this, or not actually having that much time to be able to put towards this. Um, and then other things that I came up against personally. So for me, I don't have any background in music theory. I haven't done music at school since I was about 13. Um, so I'm gonna teach you how I overcame that. So number one, make some time. Now, before you do anything, you need to commit a little bit of time and carve it out each week where you're gonna commit that time to learning this new hobby. Now, don't worry, this doesn't mean that you need to spend all of your spare time isolated from your friends, from Netflix and the pub. <laughs> don't worry, it's not gonna include that. It just means that you need to set aside half an hour or so where you're gonna sit down as undisturbed as possible, maybe in your room with your laptop where you're gonna dedicate your focus towards learning this new skill. And once you start to do that on a regular basis, it starts to become a habit. And then you start looking forward to that time, you start really enjoying it and it becomes more productive. You start to see results and it all really starts to snowball in a into a really positive and rewarding experience. Now time is the most valuable currency in the world and that sounds so corny and cliche, but invest it wisely and you're gonna get such good returns. Step number two, get a setup depending on your budget. So you're gonna to need to get some sort of music making setup in order to start making music. And you might be thinking, John, I don't have two, three, 400 pounds to throw at a music production setup at the moment. I really wanna get started, but that's just not something that I'm in a position to be able to do at the moment. That's absolutely fine. So I'm gonna start this section off with a story about a personal experience that I had recently relating to this topic. I went to see a band called Black Honey at The Horn, which is a small venue in St. Albans. And they've been coming up on my Discover Weekly Spotify playlist a little bit. Um, so I was aware of who they were. I liked some of their music and it was fairly cheap. So I went down and, and it was a really good gig. And afterwards, I got chatting to the guitarist, those small kind of venues, it, it tends to happen. You could bump into them on like their merch stand or something. So I was having a chat to him and obviously being involved in music production, I really wanted to hear how those singles were recorded. Those ones that I've been listening to on Spotify, like, what studio were you in? Like, what microphones were you using? Like, expecting it to be these really expensive microphones. Like, what producer did you work with? I bet it was amazing. Um, and it absolutely astounded me to find out that those songs that I'd been listening to on my Discover Weekly playlist on Spotify were all recorded in the drummer's bedroom. His bedroom, like a normal bedroom, all the whole band, like drums, bass, guitar, vocals, everything was all recorded in his bedroom onto a laptop in Logic and, and completely recorded and mixed in there. And that's astonishing. Like I've been listening to that music on Spotify like, and you expect it to be in some massive studio with engineers and microphones and it's just not the case anymore. Like you genuinely can get away with such a minimal amount of gear. And that's my point I'm gonna come on to. Now, one of the things to remember about this story is that this isn't uncommon and in electronic music, it's even more common. Um, it's so easy um, to, to get a setup that you can make professional sounding music on. Like a MIDI keyboard and Ableton is all you need to make a really professional sounding track now. Now, I've actually made a video already explaining the truth about what you need to get started. And essentially, it's a microphone slash audio interface setup um, which is all explained in the video if you're not sure what an audio interface is. It's a piece of software like Ableton, Pro Tools, Logic, something along those lines, GarageBand. And then it's something to listen back with. So whether it's a pair of headphones or whether it's a pair of studio monitors like I've got behind me, depending on your budget, 
that's the three main things. Uh, and if you're an electronic musician, a MIDI keyboard might also be a good investment. Uh, but that's also explained in the video. However, I cannot emphasize enough that buying this equipment does not make you a music producer, period. Buying an expensive pair of running trainers and a Garmin watch does not mean that you're gonna finish a marathon. You have to get out there, you have to pound the pavements, you have to train, and you have to follow a program that's been made by someone that's done this before that's where you want to be. Now this brings me really nicely onto my third and final point. Number three, structure your learning. So here's where we're at. You've set a little bit of time aside each week that you're gonna say, okay, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna learn music production. You've also got a little setup, depending on your budget, what you can afford, maybe a little piece of software, MIDI keyboard, interface, and you're ready to go. The final and undoubtedly most important piece of this puzzle is this last step, structured learning. You, when you do sit down and use that little bit of time that you've got, if you're not spending it in the most laser focused way, learning the absolute foundation to music production, which you need to know to go and build on, you're wasting your time. Flicking between random tutorials that are just fragmented, don't have any flow, and you can't actually ask questions and get a response from, is just not worth your time. So in order to help you at this crucial stage of learning, I've made a guide to help you get started, and it's called the seven key elements of music production. Now this is a set of videos and a YouTube playlist on my channel, The Audio Journey. Now there's also an accompanying ebook, which is a free download, which if you wanna go a little bit more in depth, get a little bit more background on the topics that we cover, that's really good to grab and it's gonna really accelerate your learning. Now it covers all the basics from software to equipment, to mixing and mastering, synths, samplers, all the good stuff that you need to know, including my little music theory hack on why you don't need to know it. So my recommendation is that the first seven weeks you do one of these videos a week because they're only five to 10 minutes long. They don't take up that much time and then you can spend 20 minutes sort of actioning what's said and done in the video so that you can really get to grips with those basics. It doesn't take up a massive amount of time and the foundation that it's gonna build you to go on and then learn music production further is absolutely solid. And it's what I would have absolutely bitten your hand off for four years ago when I was starting music production. So guys, I'm gonna link up the playlist on the YouTube card for you, and I'm gonna pop the link to the ebook down in the description below. Now, I really, really want you to absolutely rinse me dry of all the value that I can possibly give you, so the support does not stop with those videos. If you've got any questions, then all of my links are in the descriptions of my videos. You can also leave comments on the videos, and I'm always gonna get back to you. I completely understand that there can be just one question or a couple of questions that you need to ask to be able to move on to the next stage just to clarify something. So make sure you ask as many questions as you need to and also check out the comments because it's likely that someone else will have asked that question and there will be an answer to it there. So guys, make sure you get in touch regardless whether you need help or not. I really wanna to get to know you guys to see your progress and see the end product of what you come out of this course with. Now, I've been John Holt with The Audio Journey and I really hope to see you in the course and get to know you over the coming weeks. Take care.